Hey guys, welcome to fifth grade chapter four, lesson one. We are going to go ahead and get started. Um, so I just want to show you on number one, when it's multiplying it by one, it doesn't change at all. When it's multiplying it by 10, it has one zero, so it moved over one time. Multiplying by 100 has two zeros, moved over twice, multiplied by three zeros, and it actually had to fill in a zero, okay? So that's how you do those ones, okay? Now, when you are, I rewrote number two and three over here, okay? So when we multiplied by one, it doesn't change, okay? Multiplied by 0.1, that means it's going to get one smaller. So currently, our decimal would be here at the end of 30, okay? But we're multiplying it by a number that's smaller than one. So it's going to go ahead and get smaller, which means it would move over to where our decimal is now behind the three, okay? It's moving one time because there's the decimal moved in one time. Over here, the decimal moved in one, two times. It's going to move in one, two times for 0.3. Okay? So you're still going to have 33 and 0.3. Okay? Now, these ones are super cool because it tells you, the exponent tells you how many times you're going to move the decimal to the right. Okay? So on this one, zero times, it's gonna stay exactly the same, okay? On this one, it's gonna move it one time to the right, which gives us 2.3. On this one, exponent's two, we're gonna move it two times, one, two, it's gonna give us 23. On this one, we're gonna move it three times, one, two, and it doesn't have one, so we're gonna fill in a zero, we're gonna get 230, okay? Pretty easy, okay? So you guys, I now have an example of how to do each one of these. So you guys are going to do four through nine. We are going to go down to number 10 and get started. Okay. So, uh, sorry, give me just a second. Okay. And so on number 10, it says Nathan plants equal size squares of sod. In his front yard, each square has an area of six square feet. Nathan plants a total of 1,000 squares in his yard. What is the total area of the, of the sod? Okay, so then that means currently you have six, where the decimal would be right there. Okay, now you're multiplying that by 1,000. Okay, so you would have one, two, three bumps because one, two, three zeros. One, two, three. So now you have 6,000 square feet. Okay? All right. Three friends are selling items at a bake sale. May makes $23.25 selling bread. Inez sells gift baskets and makes 100 times as much as May. Carolyn sells pie and makes one-tenth of the money Inez makes. How much money does each friend make? Okay. So, May, Inez, and Carolyn, okay? It tells us that May makes $23.25, okay? Carolyn makes 100 times that. All we're going to do is take that decimal and move it two times because 100 has two zeros. So, we're going to make it two times bigger, which means 2000 $325 for Inez. Carolyn makes one tenth of the money Inez makes. So we're going to take it where our zero would be right, or our decimal would be right there. And she makes one tenth. Well, one tenth means that she makes smaller. So we're going to move it one time because 10 has one zero. Okay. So it would be $232. And in money, we don't put five, we would put 50 cents, okay? So that's how much each friend makes, okay? You guys are gonna go ahead and do the lesson check and we are gonna go ahead and get started on the spiral review, okay? The table shows the height in meters of some of the world's tallest buildings. 
what are the heights in order from least to greatest? So the smallest first, okay? Well, this one, this one, and this one all start with four, okay? That's an eight. That one's going to be the very last, okay? So we have four, five, four, one, and four, five. That means that this one is going to be first. So the height. So four, one, five, point one, three, eight. That's our first one, okay? Done, okay? The second one, so we have four, five, and four, five. Those are the same. Now that one's next number is seven, and this one is two. This one's going to be next. Four, five, two, point zero, one, eight. Done. Now, that one starts with eight, and that one starts with four. So our next one is going to be four, fifty-seven, point two, and our last one will be the 828 and 142,000. Okay? All right. All right. Madison had $187.56 in her checking account. She deposited $49.73 and then used her debit card to spend $18.64. What is Madison's new account balance? So I'm going to write down over here what she started with. Okay, now she deposited, that means that she added $49.73, okay? So first we're gonna add those up, okay? That's the first step. Whatever the answer to that is, we are then going to take away $18.64. Okay, whatever our answer is, it's going to be in money. Okay, so first let's find out how much she has now. Our first step is drop down our decimal. Okay, now six plus three is nine, five plus seven is 12, carry that one, one plus seven is eight, plus nine more is 17, carry the one, one plus eight is nine, plus four more is 13. Carry our one and one plus one is two. So now she has two hundred and thirty seven dollars and twenty nine cents. OK. So we are now going to subtract. OK, we still need to drop down our decimal first thing. That's our first thing. OK, now nine minus four is five. Two cannot take away six, so I need to borrow one from the seven and make that a 12. 12 minus six is six. Six cannot take away eight, so I need to borrow one from this three, making that a 16. 16 take away eight is eight. Two take away one is one, and then I can bring down that two. So our new balance is $218.65. Now, make sure when you're doing this that you put that dollar sign as your label. Otherwise, you don't get credit, okay? So, number five says, what is 3.47 rounded to the nearest tenth? Well, that tenth is, in the, is where the four is, okay? So, 3.47, we need to know about where the four is, which means we need to look at this seven, and if it's bigger than five, then that four is going to go up, okay? We're still going to have our three. That doesn't go anywhere. And the seven is bigger than five, which makes the four turn into a five, okay? All right. The city gardener ordered 1,680 tulip bulbs for Riverside Park. The bulbs were shipped in 35 boxes with an equal number of bulbs in each box. How many tulip bulbs were in each box? So. I am going to come over here and I'm going to write in the total number of bulbs and I'm going to divide that by the 35 boxes that they were sent in so that I have, I know how many um, bulbs were in each box, okay? Now, I don't know my multiples of 35, at least not very well. So I'm going to put down 35 70, 105, 
140, 175. And hopefully I won't have to go any further than that. Okay. So 35 is not going to go into one. I'm going to put a placeholder. 35 is not going to go into 16. I'm going to put another placeholder. Okay. 35 will go into 168. It looks like the closest I'm going to get without going over, oops, sorry, is 140. That's one, two, three, four times. Four times 135 was 140. I'm going to subtract. Okay. Eight minus zero is eight. Six minus four is two. And I don't have to worry about the one. Okay. Looks like I am going to have to go a little bit further though. Ooh, hold on just a second. There's no shame in my game. I'm absolutely using my calculator to find out. Oops, that was wrong. That's what I thought. Okay, and then 245. Okay, and then 280. Okay, so. You can use your calculator to find out your multiples. You cannot use it for this because you have to be able to show your work. Okay, so now I subtracted. I got 28. 28 is smaller than 35, so I can bring down my zero. Well, 280. 280 is right there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. Okay, eight times 35 was 280. I subtract, I get zero. So 48 bold. Okay, so write down your work. Pause, go back, do whatever you need to be able to do to write down your work. Sorry, I'm trying to get it for the glare from my window is not on my screen for you. Okay, guys, that was 4.1. Come on back for 4.2. See you soon.